How much more love can you embody today in your heart and mind? How much are you ready to give to the best around you? In the words of Marvin Gaye, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? See, how many done that to yourself? You look yourself in the mirror and say, "What's going on here?" Okay. Well, the challenge to know is the beautiful is going on if it's coming from you, and we have every moment of our life the opportunity to move forward. I love. Um, we explore the great, the good, and the wise of the age. We look for wisdom wherever we can find it. We look for the clearest teachers. And these were not anyone who ever said to anybody, it is up to you to worship me. They always said, listen to me and follow what I'm saying. Jesus never said, worship me. He said, follow me. Now, Kierkegaard, Leonard Kierkegaard, said this, education is not revealed by the books we've read or degrees we've earned, but what we do with what we've learned. What we do with what we've learned. I know people who've been in this teaching. I've been in it 47 years, so I know people who've been in this 47 years. Okay, 47 years. Some of you sitting here this morning have been with me for 36 years. In my 36 year, uh, uh, this year, 36 years in this pulpit. And it's wonderful and beautiful. Now, this never happens to anybody who studies with me. <laughs> but it does happen to a lot of people and I know people who've been studying this for 36 years and they haven't moved an inch they're still doing exactly what they did 36 years ago and they still have the same reasons for not accomplishing what they say they want to accomplish why? because even though they've read the textbook and taken the classes go to every seminar it comes up they still are maintaining the consciousness of the limitation they're experiencing. Doesn't matter how many positive words they add to it. Everyone say, what I affirm in words is not what I demonstrate. What I demonstrate is what I know is true. See, that's what spiritual mind treatment is. One of my greatest, one of the greatest teachers of the New Thought Movement was my teacher. And if you look at my book, my book is dedicated to him and his daughter is here today. And I love her dearly. Dr. Marilyn Leo is sitting in the back of the room and she is uh, Dr. Reg Armour's daughter. And Reg was one of my first teachers. He, is, uh, he was so wonderful as was his beautiful wife, Elsie, Marilyn's mom. And when I was in my early 20s, uh, they were always there. In fact, I think Elsie just about adopted me because uh, any time I was going through my struggles in my 20s, uh, Dr. Armour was always there, as was Batura Papke, as was Bill Hornaday, as was Craig Carter, as was all of my great, great teachers who taught me very clearly that this teaching we have is not something you just go and do once a week. It's something you let go and let yourself become and honor the challenge of the fact that if you go ahead and let these principles be your way, you are not going to be conforming to the world. Therefore, you're not going to be like most of the world. You're going to be those who do what? We talk, we've been talking about this in second year class for about a, three or four months now. And that it, you, you become what? You become... Not just someone aware of creativity, but you become the power of positive creativity and you become positive change in your life, therefore you're affecting all life. Everyone say, if I'm this much happier today, the whole universe is this much happier today. You see? Don't wait for the universe to make you happy. Okay? You are happiness experiencing life in truth. You are love experiencing life. You are health experiencing life. You are joy experiencing life. You are unlimited possibility experiencing life when? Everybody say, right. now. Right now. Right now. Divine mind within us. It is the source of everything. It brought us into form, into experience. It is everything we are. We move from it, through it, to it. It is everything in our heart and mind 
and it is our entire event. And it's all happening at once. Ralph Waldo Emerson, the great grandfather of our teaching, pointed out, we are what we think about all day long. We are what we think about all day long. I believe that's true, and I proved it to myself, and I've watched others do it. One of our first editors, 1918, Christian V. Larson, he became head of the metaphysical department of Science of Mind magazine, 1918. I have, uh, uh, we have work going back, and, uh, and we're all exploring it now. Do uh, the Reverend Dr. Cynthia and Dr. Marilyn are working on a, I think, maybe one of the most important books ever produced in the New Thought Movement. They're working on it together now, the history of religious science. And not just, you know, seeing it through one person's eyes, but I was very fortunate. When I found this teaching, it was about three years after Dr. Holmes' passing, and I got to see it through the eyes of Marilyn's father, of Craig Carter, of Dr. Hornaday, of others. It was as if Dr. Holmes was in the next room because everything, every class we got, every lesson we had was so emphasized by what they learned from him. And what he learned, what they all learned from him is there is a power greater than we are right where we are that does know what to do and how to do it. All we have to do is give it permission to do it and then act like it's done. Act like it's done. How many have something going on in your life this morning that you would like to see change for the better? And if that change was 100% in your life right now, you know you would feel better, right? Okay. Everybody got an idea how that feeling might be? Here's your challenge. Leave here feeling that way. See, operate from completion. We were talking uh, Friday night. I was talking to, Doc, uh, to Reverend Dar and Reverend Mary Jo. Uh, uh, we were talking about ways that we explain principle to people. Because we have a principle. The principle, Jesus talked about it 2,000 years ago. It's done unto you as you believe. Now, how are we going to roll away the stone and let a new idea become experience, belief? But how do we get to it? We get to it by going to conclusion and then working our way back to where we are to see if we're on the right path. Now, I'll give you an illustration. Here's an ant. The ant is on a tree. How many have seen an ant on a tree before? Now, what if the ant wanted to get to a leaf on the tree? Now, if it wanted to get to a leaf of a tree, it had to go up the trunk of the tree and then find a branch and then find another branch and then find an ant and then and eventually get to one of the, you know, 10,000 leaves that are on the tree. It might or might not. What are the, what are the, say if it was one leaf it wanted to get to, it might or might not get to it or there might be so many it might take a long time to do it. But what if you started from the leaf and worked your way back to the trunk? You wouldn't get lost, would you? And that's the same thing. Everybody go in consciousness right now to something new and beautiful. Health, happiness, prosperity, career, whatever it is. Now let's move back to where we are now. If that's complete, move it back to where you are now in consciousness. Move the excitement, the exhilaration, the, the confidence as we talked about in the beginning. See, that's rolling away the stone. Act as if it is, and it will be. Edward de Bono said in his wonderful book, New Think, he said, go to completion and then come back to where you are to see if you're on the right road. See if you're on the right road. See, our challenge is, is we're not getting to where we want to go. Maybe we ought to check, check the path we're on. Maybe we ought to check the path we're on. Don't keep going down a road that goes nowhere singing a happy song. Okay. The challenge is, is to know that the path to anywhere is in your heart and mind. And as you let go and let it happen, you find the cosmic world of love and happiness and joy unfolding from you to the world around you. I want to thank each and every one of you for your love, for your faith, for your support, and for your ongoing treatment. For anyone here this morning, we would like to welcome you, especially if you're new here this morning, and I want all of you to know that all of our practitioners, all of our ministers, all of our wonderful members are treating every day of their life for your prosperity, for your love, for your health, and for positive right action. And if you ever find yourself less than happy with anything that's going on, 
just stop for a minute and say, wait a minute, I'm in treatment, and I know the treatment for me from Tri-City Church of Religious Science Center for Spiritual Living is good enough to be true. Roll away the stone, people. There's something beautiful waiting, and it's waiting for you, and it's good enough to be true. Let it be your way. I love you. Happy Easter. Thank you for being here today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.